Hi everyone, Christina here. Uh, today's voiceover will be a little different. I've got a couple friends with me. Um, I've got Gina. Say hi, Gina. Hey everyone, it's Gina, Gina K. Yeah, and we also have Jennifer. Hi, it's Jennifer, and I'm going to pretend I can color today. <laughs> so they're going to take over and do the voiceover for you. Um, I'm going to sit back. If they have a question, they can ask me. <laughs> well, first of all, welcome everyone to Christina's channel. And I just wanted to make it clear that although Christina's hands are the ones actually doing the work, the fingernails belong to me. <laughs> um, so the stamp set that Christina is using is an adorable stamp set by Lawn Fawn called S'more the Merrier. Did you, is that cute or what, Jennifer? I, it couldn't be s'more cute. It <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And um, we, we really don't know what she's doing, but it looks to me like she is um, stamping a lot of images here and she's going to get ready to either die cut or maybe mask. I'm, ding, I'm ding, not ding. sure. Oh, is it masking? Masking. Okay. <laughs> so she must be using the Gina K Designs masking paper. I really don't know. It was just a spare piece of masking she's paper. Not, <laughs> she's not using the Gina K Designs masking paper. So and on I'm the gonna left leave. is the masking paper. <laughs> <laughs> so the left is the masking paper. No. No. The right is the masking yes. paper. It's a it's just a map to figure oh. out the placement. So on the left there is her map, her placement. Yeah. So this is tricky. I wanted the sorry, I'm taking over for a moment. I wanted the owl's hand to be over the guitar. So I'm actually going to cut the mask so that the hand can go be stamped over it. It'll make more sense here in a minute when I actually okay. start seeing That is actually very, very creative. Now she we knows have, what she's doing. We have a large envelope here, and um, we're going to tape this envelope shut with some blue painter's tape. There we go. That's going to be a beautiful technique. She's just going to slap some tape on here and so right good. across the tip. There you go. That's how that's going in the mail. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's so it fits in the misty. Oh, it's so it's okay. It's, okay, because <laughs> it's right. too big otherwise. Well, now I she know. has her guide out, so yeah. she knows where to put her stamp. Oh, oh okay. So gosh, now we she's see. Smart. <laughs> so what she's going to actually do here? Oh, is this mail art? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is mail art. Okay. Now, now, normally I'm the queen of mail art, but Christina is going to be doing the mail art for you today. So it's yeah. not going to be quite as good as mine, but it's going to be pretty good here. Yeah. So what she did is she made a template template and she's laying everything out on a piece of paper she's going to attach those stamps to the door of the misty and then she's going to get rid of that piece of paper and she's going to know exactly where to stamp on that envelope that's just brilliant have you noticed how gentle she is with her misty i'm like slam, slam. like <laughs> do you look at how gentle i know well she's using my nails so that's don't why don't harm the misty don't I, harm it i know it we can have to handle be it it can handle it i promise so now she's stamping with a little bit of See, black out, Versa out, Fine okay. ink. Was that what that one was? Correct. Oh, and look how gently she rubs that. over that. Yeah, actually, I stand on mine. Yeah. To get the <laughs> good impressions. <laughs> <for> real. <laughs> oh, how cute is this? So now she's got this cute little varmint. And <laughs> that is going to be stamped. But Lawn Fawn makes the cutest varmints. She's going to stamp that using this Versamark ink. And... Versafine. Versafine ink. Versamark. Versa this is all new to me. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever stamped before? I, this is, I, I, and I'm still not stamping, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now she's going to stamp that little guitar onto the owl. Oh, but we, but we the have owl's to not there yet, right? Mm -hmm. We have to mask. Okay. Oh, oh okay. she folds it up. Oh, that's brilliant. She folds Dang, it up. She's yeah. smart. So now she's going to stamp that guitar first. But, but I, I but wiped off the, the corner. I yeah. wiped off the corner. Because she's going to have the hand over it. Yeah. Here and she the... comes with a tiny, look at, whoa. Oh, See, a... if you were as old as us, Christina, you would have to have readers on for this part. <laughs> you would have your readers on so you could see those tiny things. Absolutely. So now she's masking that. Yes, she is. And now she can stamp and put the hand back in, right? Yeah. So you can see that the hand can fit right into that little spot that she left open there, which is once again brilliant and making me rethink my entire career. <laughs> can we also discuss her ring? Oh, that ring. Yeah, it's beautiful. That is a gorgeous ring. Yep. It's mine. I she got, borrowed it. <laughs> I got to try it on today. You Wait, give it to me. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'll let you try it on. Is this bad luck to let someone else wear your wedding ring? It just means I'm going to steal your husband. 
Oh, no. You can't have him. Oh, that looks great on you, Jennifer. (laughs) So here's a little story while she masks. When uh, my husband and I were looking at possible engagement rings, the jeweler put on my hand like a two-carat diamond and started laughing. He said, that looks ridiculous on your tiny hand. It looks fake. And I'm like, why would you say that? Yeah. Don't say that. Well, yeah. not only is it rude, but doesn't he want the sale? <laughs> That's what I wondered. I'm like, what kind of businessman are you? Anyways. Oh, what's she doing? So now she's got some toilet paper. <laughs> and post-it she, tape. Oh, post-it tape. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't looking when you Ooh. unrolled it. Oh, look at her making a little she's landscape do there. She's inking, too. That is just brilliant. So everything so, is currently masked. And... Right? It's yes. all masked. Yeah, everything and is now masked. she's putting a ground so she can ink up the background. Correct. Which is smart. I'm thinking this is what she's doing. We're we're having to do a little bit of what do you call it where you tell the future? Uh fortune, fortune telling. telling. Trying to guess what she's gonna do. But my guess is she's gonna ink the background. Because if she would have taken the time to color in all those am- animals, those varmints, and then <laughs> do, messed up the inking, it would have been a lot of wasted time. But if you do the inking first it's a less wasted time. So anyways, it's always yeah. best to do the inked backgrounds, then do the coloring of the little critters. That makes total sense. Yeah, I love That was the mustard she's... seed, right? Right. And this is... Um, you want to take a guess? It's chip sapphire. Correct. Wow. Oh, I know my... I know my... Co- See, I don't know my children's 100 names. 100 points but I do for know Puff. this. <laughs> Are you... What, what's your Harry Potter house? I don't know. Because I was going to award dis- your house some points. Oh, either Hufflepuff or Gryffindor. I bet you're Gryffindor. You're very loyal. No, Jennifer is very loyal, almost to a fault. Oh, honey, most <laughs> of the things I do are to a fault. Okay, so now, now she's using ocean floor. <laughs> no, it's not. That's peacock That's... feathers. Oh, correct. <laughs> <laughs> and so she's doing like a glow around the fire. Oh, how cute. Now let's discuss why Why are we not eating s'mores while making this video. Oh, that's a really Absolutely. good question. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why aren't we? Shouldn't that be our payment? Maybe Christina will pay us some marshmallows later. and chocolate later. I think, later. Later. I <laughs> there think we that go. would be very, very uh, Oh, is this beneficial. black soot? It is. Now, this is where I would, I couldn't do it. And you're going to make it beautiful and it's going to make me really mad, isn't it? Well, there's something I should note here. This Whoa. is on Bristol paper. So oh. it is not drying immediately. It is almost sliding around on the surface. Okay. So why did you choose, because in case anybody wants to know, why did you choose to use distress ink instead of oxide ink here? Traditional distress ink instead of oxide. Um, no reason? I don't know that I considered oxides. Okay. I was just like, I'm going to go straight for the original distress. I think a lot of us do that out of habit, right? Mm-hmm. We did it for so long, but oxides would work right here too. Oh yeah, they, they would be equally as good. Yeah. I think because maybe I was using Bristol paper and and I know it makes ink blending easier for regular inks. Because it's smooth. Because it's smooth. But if I was using an oxide, I could have used regular white card stock. But I am going to do a little bit of, well, you'll see here in a minute. You'll know why I picked Bristol. We're going to do some, oh, oh, oh. (laughs) Look at that. So now she's going to peel the mask off. Isn't that satisfying? It is. That's like taking your mask off. After being on a plane. Or right. taking your bra off. Or that too. Oh, Ooh, yeah. yeah. At the, the end, end of the day. day. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so now she's going to mask oh, off the that. top. So, so she's she using can the do other the half ground. of the mask. Mm-hmm. Yep. Brilliant. Once again, brilliant. I know I'm saying but that a lot. But it doesn't want to but... stick. Because remember how the Bristol paper is kind of... Mm-hmm. The ink sits on top. I bet you wrap it around, don't you? Yep. See? But it was a happy trick. accident. I didn't plan to have wrap it around, but it worked out. Yep. Because... Because that ink is still wet there, the sky is still wet, the masking paper doesn't want to stick. So by wrapping it around the back, it holds it there. Look at that. I don't get my hands inky. I wasn't going to put my hand in that. You kidding? <laughs> so, Gina, <laughs> yes. should we discuss that she is like half of our age mm-hmm. and she can do this? Yes. And why are we friends with her? <laughs> I think it's your fault. Oh. I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> so now she's got this great brown and black mix happening here that you know that little bit of glow from the fire makes the ground area look a little bit brighter but then she's bringing that black in and that's going to really create the look of nighttime all around this fire and it's just going to be beautiful when she peels that off did you see see the you're like a sports commentator straight ink pad to paper oh yeah i did see her do that yeah it was it was not getting dark enough i'm like what the crap to speed it up you can do that but you got to really go dark with that color then Mm -hmm. Which she did. 
So the most exciting part of this now is watching her peel the masks off of these little animals. Watch this. <gasps> oh. So See, she's we... taking her toenail clippers and she <laughs> is just lightly peeling the mask off. <laughs> That's what my toenail clippers look like anyway. <laughs> so she, you use Tim Holtz scissors to cut your toenails? Hey, Tim Holtz scissors work for everything. There's very little you can't. Here's a story when Audrey, or not Audrey, when Lila was in kindergarten. No, Colin was in kindergarten. Look at that. I think it was Colin in kindergarten. The teacher sent me an email and said, what are Tim Holtz scissors? Because your child just asked if I had any to use in class. (laughs) (laughs) That's perfect. Let me send some to you. (laughs) So now Um, she used her heat tool to just dry everything a little bit. And now she's going back in with Oh, yeah, because it was like putting your hand in wet paint. It was so wet. So, so tell me about this pen, Christina. What are you oh, doing here? Oh, it's just here? a waterproof black pen. Okay, so you're just kind of touching up any little areas yeah, there? And connecting yeah. where the masking right. was. Oh, got it. Got these it. markers are amazing, and I can't use them. Because this, this, is, this is like the hardest thing in the world for me to do, and Christina does it with such ease and grace. Yes, this is like, this <sighs> is... I'm not an artist. Gina could do this. You just showed something Are similar you on your I live can't? last week. Um, well, no, she <laughs> no, was just talking. That's all. <laughs> you can do it too. I've seen you do it too. Yeah, no. Yeah, I, I, I would have to practice this a little bit more, and I don't think I could do it at this speed. I think. Well, that I did, did speed up the video footage. <laughs> well, oh, okay. Well, that makes all the difference right there. I just thought this is actually how fast you crafted, and I was oh. feeling unbelievably intimidated. Well, here's and, a little. I think this is really important, and maybe. You'll get something useful out of this video by hearing us say this. If coloring isn't your thing, that's okay. Just because you see Christina doing this doesn't mean that, like, it stresses me out. So I don't need to do that part, but I could do that background. So do what works for you. Discover what makes you happy, what makes you stressed, and focus on the things that make you happy. This is Christina's jam, and I love watching her do it, but don't feel pressured to do something because you see it in the video. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, take the bits and pieces that work for you and go with that. And you can try new things, but if it stresses you out, just step away from it. And the most important thing to know is that whoever receives your handmade card yes. isn't going to be sitting and judging how well you shaded or if you knew where the light was coming from when you decided to shade. It's the thought yes. and just getting those cards in the mail and making somebody's day. But, of course, we can all sit and just admire yeah. Christina's oh, yeah. amazing ability. Yeah. Look at that. Now, did you notice Christina made boo-boos? Two boo-boos. Do you see them up there? I see them, but I didn't even think that they I were know. boo-boos. But I she's going to turn I them into a mask. I thought one was the moon and the other one was the other moon on the planet <laughs> that we're not on. <laughs> see, that's the thing is a, a lot of times in videos we edit things out or it looks like it was part of the plan. But we are oftentimes just going with the flow. And in this point, I bet Christina will make a starry sky mm-hmm. and you will never see that. The plan right. was to use a white gel pen and draw, draw oh, white so stars see? on. But then when that happened from water droplets, I was like, well, crap. Well, so, well it happens to us all the time. I'm going to go with it. You'll see. Yep. yep. The I'm water, sure you will. The water look. droplets will make even a more amazing sky, I but, bet. But, you know, her boo-boos are even perfect. Look I know. Look how perfectly how, round they are. I know, right? <laughs> really I know. I'm off. looking at the moon and Mars. <laughs> I don't know how you can make a mistake and end up with the moon and Mars. She's even good with makeup. Do you see their cheeks? Do you know that Christina does oh, makeup sometimes? I know Christina's good at makeup. Have you seen her nails? She knows how to do nails. Yeah. She knows how to do everything. <laughs> and she's half oh, our age. Remember that? that? Look yeah, how different this is. Sorry, guys. I have to point this out. This black marker, how much more black it is compared to the black soot on top of Bristol. Bristol but look paper. But absorb. Yeah. <gasps> Bristol paper seems to like kind of just dull out inks on top of it. Mm-hmm. So I was able to do the black paint right on top, and it was darker. Look at that. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful. And you know what's the worst part about this? She doesn't put either of our addresses on this. (laughs) Really? Yeah. This isn't going to me? Oh, you don't lick. Why am I here? No, gross. (gasps) Don't lick your stamps. I don't have any stamps that are old enough to need licking. They're all stickers now. That's true. Yeah, no, I I put, like, I, I spray water into a paper towel. Did you watch Seinfeld? No. Oh yeah, you yeah. don't want to. Well, you don't want to lick, lick envelopes. No. If, if no. you have not seen the Seinfeld episode, where don't lick envelopes. They're licking the wedding invitations and in the yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty funny. We'll tell actually. you later. You're yeah. too young to watch Seinfeld. I guess. <laughs> oh no, no, I did like in the late '90s. Yeah, when she was like 
five. When she was nursing. (laughs) (laughs) Fresh out of the womb. (laughs) All right, now who? Oh, 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 I see white paint. Uh Oh, oh. is she going to paint an address? She's going to, oh, or is she flicking? She's going to paint. She's going to paint an, oh, no. So Uh, see, this is. This Here's, is where I've got to get my label maker, and yeah. I got to slap a label on. The, oh, I see. Okay. Hold on, I'd hand deliver this thing because <laughs> there is no way I'm going to take a chance. Oh, this is so cute! Look at how she's doing that. Now I need to tell you all mm-hmm. because right now everybody's saying, "I hate Christina because she is so <laughs> darn talented." Right? You have this little bit of that's not fair. But here's the thing, guys. She's so likable. That you have to forgive her. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Which it says a lot because look at this talent. Yeah. This is going to look amazing. Yeah, I've you seen gotta the like final her one. Anyway. Mm-hmm. And you still like her. <laughs> yep. I I don't. I don't. I I. Yeah. We'll keep you. Thanks, guys. But darn it. <laughs> Even though this is not our address. <laughs> and it's going to Kelly Marie from Long Pond. So I'm Kelly- moving here. <laughs> we know where she this lives. This is going to be my new house. I am moving here. <laughs> well, just this is this her card. business. But we've been there and we know that, and we'll show up and steal the card. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Okay, I'll Kelly, make the sorry. flight. Um, so one more time, we just want to let you know that the stamp set, this adorable stamp set, is by Lawn Fawn, and it's called "S'more the Merrier," right? Yeah. Oh, such a cute little. They have the cutest, quippiest names. I love. They have it. s'more stamps that are cute too. <laughs> Sorry. And you need to also know that Lawn Fawn is a very good company who works really well with others. And like Gina has a company, and Kelly and Marie, they're friends, and they help each other out. And I think Lawn Fawn's one of the best companies to support. Absolutely. Can I just say, I think this is the longest city name ever Rancho Santa Margarita. Yeah, that is. There's, that's they have a margaritas long... there. Oh. All right, we're definitely yeah. going to stock the mailbox outside <laughs> Kelly Marie's place. <laughs> so she's using white. What's that paint called? I don't even know how to squash. say it. Gouache. She's using squash, pa- squash. white paint. <laughs> white, with squash. a little white bit squash. of white. <laughs> with a little bit of, or with a little bit of water. Mm-hmm. And what kind of brush is this? It's just a really small one. Oh. So she's using okay. just a really small one. So if you're going to try to find it, just Google just a really <laughs> small <laughs> one. Or check her link below. <laughs> well, I think it's a size zero <laughs> wow. round brush. So oh, that's my problem. I could hand letter like this if I had a size zero brush. Yeah, and squash. You just need to and get squash. a squash. <laughs> you white, squash. white squash. <laughs> Maybe spaghetti squash. <laughs> that, that would be the thinnest. So that's oh. probably what you need. This is absolutely a beautiful card. I'm so honored to be here on this channel, uh, being able to watch this thing come to life. How fun is that? Jennifer, you and I have to go practice right now. Yeah, I'm starting <laughs> to think we need to go do a little um, learning. I think so, too. We need, Hey, just... We need to subscribe to Christina's channel. If you've liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because that helps uh, Christina's channel and you'll never miss another video. And we promise we won't do this again for a while. So you don't have to worry (laughs) about us taking it. I know we're being silly, but it's because we, this is how we are. We love each other. This this is how we are. So and we're Jennifer's a few drinks in. Yep. No, I'm not. Yeah. Well, okay, one. Or one. One. <laughs> one glass of wine that Jennifer and I are sharing, but okay. it doesn't take much because we're kind of lightweights because we don't really know how to do Christina had the rest of the bottle. This. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how beautiful. I'm between the card and your nails and the ring. I'm just mesmerized by this whole process. She she does her videos with grace. She really does. Look at I, all that blur. Wh- where to go? Whoa. See, Sorry. she has been drinking. Yeah. That's, blur got. Yeah, that's right. That's her fault. Okay, okay, so you made that with the envelope maker? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, the uh, We Are Memory Keepers 1, 2, 3 punch board. Oh. And then what kind of tape did you use to make sure that was secure? It was score tape. Score tape, okay. But if score tape doesn't hold for your envelopes, you can also do just like a little squirt of glue. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have two recommendations. Mm-hmm. Okay. Lawn Fawn has a great double-sided tape. And, oh, they do. I've used it. Yes, mm-hmm. and Gina K Connect would be good. You could just do a little line of that, too. So the, there are yeah. a few options Just for hold that. it down or put something heavy on top till the glue dries. So now tell us what you're doing here because this looks, is that what that is? Microglaze? You got to seal it because think about it. If it's raining on the postman or postwoman, right? We don't want the squash to We don't need more moons. No, (laughs) we do not need more moons. (laughs) So by putting a little bit of, that's microglaze from Tim Holtz and you use an inking applicator. Or your fingers, whatever. You could use your fingers too, but 
look at your finger. If your fingers look that good, yeah, you, you use an applicator. <laughs> so you just have an ink, ink applicator designated to that, and you apply a thin coat over the whole thing, and it protects it. It also gives it a very, very nice finished yes, look, very polished, but absolutely beautiful. we won't beautiful. know because this isn't going to our house. No, no. we're not going to know what's going to happen here, but I'll tell it you what. It puts like a film on top, but it dries back pretty well. Like, you can't really tell. Well, Christina, this has been really fun. Thanks for having us on your channel. Thanks for joining me. I've never done a voiceover in one take. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back with a regular video very soon. Yeah, without us hooligans. <laughs>